Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, the brand new Pokemon games coming out in literally a month and a few days. It's crazy, I cannot wait. And of course, as we know, the only Pokemon available in these games are the first 151 original Pokemon, all of the Alolan Pokemon, Meltan, maybe more, we don't know, but definitely those lot. So I thought, hey, looking at all those Pokemon, which is the best, because obviously we don't have abilities or held items or anything like that anymore, so what's the best? So in today's video, I'm going to be trying to answer who is the best Pokemon for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, and then in a video that I'm going to do like tomorrow or a day after or whatever, we're going to do the worst Pokemon for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee to make sure you guys pick your teams right. So if you guys are excited for this video, drop a like down below, it really does help out. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new as well, I do daily Pokemon content. And of course, daily Pokemon live streams on this channel. With that all out of the way, though, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So, starting things off, obviously, the strongest Pokemon is going to be Mega Mewtwo. Why? We all know that. I'm not going to include legendaries in this video because it's just I could literally just say Mewtwo Y in the video. Then there's no point of that. I may as well go into all the Pokemon that aren't legendary and super broken because Mega Mewtwo X, Mewtwo Y are going to be so so broken because they're just ridiculous and. Yeah, we all know they are. So anyway, as we all know, we obviously got Mega Evolutions in this game, but hold the phone. Mega Evolutions, you don't need a held item to Mega Evolve anymore. So how's that going to work? I don't know, but it's going to work somewhere. For some reason, you don't need the Mega Ring or the Mega Stone or anything like that to Mega Evolve. However, though, Pokemon don't get abilities in this game. It's been confirmed. So Pokemon like Mega Venusaur He's not going to get any ability Thick Fat, which is obviously super helpful for Mega Venusaur because it usually makes him not weak to Fire and Ice because of Thick Fat, but with that out of the window now, he's weak to Fire and Ice, so that really doesn't help Mega Venusaur out. Definitely loses a lot of its uh, kind of bulk in that way, really. We have Mega Charizard X loses Tough Claws, Mega Charizard Y loses Drought, Say Goodbye to First Turn Solar Beams, Say Goodbye to Powered Up Fire Time Moves. You know, we got Mega Blastoise, his attacks are going to do less because of his ability loss. We're going to have uh, Mega Beedrill losing its ability. It's crazy how much of an impact abilities have on Pokemon. So, obviously, when you're looking at all these and you're not taking into account legendary Pokemon, which is going to be the best because basically all Mega Evolutions do in this game is just increase their stats, which is great. It makes the Pokemon stronger, but of course, some Mega Evolutions really rely on their ability and when they don't get it like mega beedrill like mega pidgeot really they are really slumped a little bit so uh, we're going to take a look at all of the Kanto Pokemon. Obviously, we've got Alolan forms here as well. We got Meltan as well, but at the point of making this video, we don't know its stats. We don't know if it evolves. We don't know anything like that. So I can't really include Meltan. We all just know it's a new mythical Pokemon. That's all we know. Uh, but obviously, we've got Mega Alakazam. Um, Alakazam isn't going to get its ability Magic Guard. There's no Sturdy in this game. There's no Water Absorb. There's no Intimidate, which isn't great for Arcanine. Um, there's no Anger Point. There's nothing like that. There's no abilities in this game. So it is going to be really crazy. So... How I thought I would do this, the best Pokemon for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, barring legendaries, is just take a look at the obvious ones. So, of course, straight off the bat, we have obviously all the legendaries, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Mewtwo, and then we're just going to include Mew as well. I know it's a mythical, not legendary, but just for the sake of it, we'll just call it legendary. Um, so they're all out of the, uh, the picture. They're all going to be broken in these games just because they've got higher stats than anything else, apart from Mega Revolution, but you know what I mean. So we got Dragonite, which is going to be a very good Pokemon in this game. Obviously, um, it's going to lose its ability multi-scale, so ice types are going to do a lot of damage. I mean, they did a lot of damage anyway, but it's just going to do it straight off the bat. Um, but of course, Dragonite is a very nice Pokemon. It gets Dragon Dance, stuff like that. It hits hard with Dragon Claw, Draco Meteor, everything like that. We got Snorlax, which is going to be a very good Pokemon. Snorlax is very bulky. You can curse up and stuff like that. Um, Mega Aerodactyl is going to be good. It, it does have a lot of attack. Obviously, 135, very nice. It's very fast as well with 150 speed. Mega Aerodactyl is actually going to be very, very good in this game. So watch out for that. We obviously got all the evolutions. Um, they're fine. I mean, the abilities helped out a little bit, such as like War Absorb, Vault Absorb, Flash Fire. Guts for Flareon really helped out. So Flareon is definitely going to get hit by this. 100% uh, unfortunately for its sake. Um, but you know, abilities aren't in the game. We got Ditto. Ditto is actually going to get hurt by the abilities thing as well because his ab his abilities, uh, what is it, Imposter, I think, uh, lets him transform straight away. He's not going to have to do that anymore. You just you actually have to click transform now, like it was in Pokemon Yellow, Red, and Blue, and everything like that. So that's not great for Ditto. As mentioned earlier, Intimidate isn't in the game for Gyarados. Mega Gyarados obviously doesn't even get Mole Breaker. I mean, it obviously gets 155 physical attack, which is very nice. 
pincer without the aerialite ability is gonna be horrible for it. Abilities are super, super clutch in these games, especially Mega Kangaskhan as well. Losing that parental bond ability is really gonna slow Mega Kangaskhan down. Um, also, a Pokemon that you may not have thought about, but it's gonna get hit really hard by no abilities is actually Clefable wherever it is, because obviously not getting Unaware or Magic Guard is basically Clefable's staple. It is a, basically a Pokemon that you can bring in that stops Pokemon from setting up, because Unaware obviously stops, uh, it kind of ignores uh, any stat boost. So even if a Pokemon is belly drummed or dragon danced four times or anything like that, it just ignores all of that. And then you can just come in with Clefable, you can Toxic or whatever, you can set up Carmines, anything like that. But Clefable is really gonna get hurt by this no ability thing, so. It would not surprise me if Clefable really falls down in kind of like the tiers for this game. Because obviously the tiers for this game are going to be very different from the normal OU tiers and everything like that that we're used to. Because obviously abilities and no items are in this game. It's literally Gen 1. Um, obviously a lot of people are surprised by it because a lot of you guys I'm sure did not play Gen 1 when they first came out. So you were always, all you've ever really known is items and abilities and like that. Whereas for me, when I did play Gen 1 and there was no items or abilities, obviously it's weird because I, I played those like years and years and years ago. And I've obviously only known items and abilities for a very long time. It is weird to just go all the way back to that. Um, but it's just one of those things like in the at the end of the day, it does kind of make sense because they weren't available in the, in the first games. But it is still a bit of a shock to the system. But... But which is the best Pokemon for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? Well, I kind of wanted to do one that isn't Mega Evolved and one that is because, as we all know, Mega Evolved Pokemon are just better in general in these games just because they get a boost in all of their stats. And there's not really any abilities or any held items that can really help any non-Mega Evolved Pokemon out, such as Clefable. Um, so I think it's only fair that I do one for each. Obviously, Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y are the best Pokemon in these games. They have the best stats by a mile. They have incredible moves that hit super hard. Um, try and find them. Yeah, Mega Mewtwo Y. Look at that. 150 physical attack from Mewtwo Y. 194 special attack. 140 speed. 120 special defense. Mega Mewtwo X. 190 physical attack. Like, it's just going to be so broken. Like, they obviously are going to be the best Pokemon in this game. There's no doubt about it. So, obviously, they have to be out of the question. And, obviously, the, all the legendaries do as well. So, the best Mega Evolved Pokemon, in my opinion, I mean, without abilities and stuff like that, I think Mega Aerodactyl is definitely very, very good. Uh, Mega Gyarados, obviously... I mean, it's not got the speed. It does get access to Dragon Dance, stuff like that. You can't really come in and intimidate with Gyarados and then obviously Mega Evolve. That's out of the picture. Uh, Mega Pinsir's okay. I mean, it does have that base 105 speed. 155 physical attack. Very, very nice. 120 physical defense. Quite bulky. Um, but again, does lose that Aerialate ability. Uh, we have Mega Kangaskhan. I don't think that's going to be a very good Pokemon at all. Not getting access to um, Parental Bond or anything like that. Um, yeah, it can Mega Evolve and you, the little baby jumps out of the pouch, but that's kind of it. It doesn't really do anything apart from that. Mega Gengar is going to be a very good Pokemon. Very, very good Pokemon. Hits for 170 on the special attack, 130 uh, speed. Uh, Mega Alakazam, as we all know, is also a very good Pokemon. Uh, 175 special attack, 150 speed. Uh, obviously not very bulky at all on the... Um, the physical side but of course like i say there's no choice scarf in this game nothing like that so i don't know how a pokemon is going to outspeed 150 unless you set up it's really going to change the meta it really is there's nothing that you can do about it you can't choice ban you can't choice specs you can't choice scarf can't leftovers can't uh flame orb for guts can't do anything like that it's literally all just basic gameplay so um I think something that's really fast is just going to conquer the competitive scene, to be fair. Something that's really fast, something that can really hit hard. Obviously, there is things like priority and stuff like that with Sucker Punch that, you know, you'll have to watch out for with Mega Alakazam and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I think uh, something like Mega Alakazam or Mega Gengar is just going to absolutely destroy. So I think it's going to be one of those two. Maybe Mega Aerodactyl, just because they are fast and they hit hard. And I think that's all you really need in these games. So for the Mega Evolution, I'd probably say one of those three. I'd probably say Mega, Gar uh, Mega Gengar. Mega Aerodactyl or Mega Alakazam. So that's what I'm saying for the Mega Evolution. Obviously, if you guys do disagree, just let me know in the comment section below. I just think, like, looking at it, I think having a very high base speed stat total and you can hit hard as well in either physical or special, I think that's so, so clutch for the competitive scene just because you're not going to get outsped by a Choice Scarf or anything like that. So if you can outspeed, like, 95% of the game, I mean, like, Mega Aerodactyl even outspeeds, like, Mega Mewtwo Y and Mega Mewtwo X. So getting a crunch off on Mega Mewtwo Y, what's Mewtwo Y going to do about that? It can't do anything about that. So that's what I mean. Like, speed is so clutch in this game. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say Mega Aerodactyl, Mega Alexam, or Mega Gengar for one of the best Mega Evolutions. But yeah, for the non-Pokemon that isn't Mega Evolved, 
again, I think the speed thing just comes into play again. Um, and I guess just the fastest Pokemon will have the best chance. Uh, I don't even know what the fastest Pokemon is in Kanto that isn't Mega Evolved. Uh, probably something like Jolteon or something like that. I don't think Jolteon's going to be the best, though, because it is quite frail. Uh, but there's not many Pokemon that do um, have base, like, over 100 speed. Obviously, we've got Jolteon there. We have Aerodactyl there. Uh, we have, obviously, Zapdos that doesn't count. we got Dragonite with 80. So I'm just trying to think, like, 105 Electabuzz, 115 Starmie. Starmie's going to be pretty good in, in this game, I would have to say. Uh, we've got base 150 for Electrode, but Electrode isn't really the greatest Pokemon anyway. It can't really hit hard. Uh, 110 for Dodrio. You kind of just need a Pokemon that can hit hard and that is very, very fast. So I guess Jolteon would be really good. Alakazam, I think, is going to be a good Pokemon anyway. I think they're just good. I mean, yeah, they're a little bit frail, but as long as they watch out for the Sucker Punches and the Priority, they're going to be absolutely fine. And I definitely mean that. I think they're going to be really good. Um, so yeah, maybe even Alakazam might be the best Pokemon. I mean, Alolan Raichu is going to be nice. Uh, 110 speed. 100 for Pharaoh, 121 for Mega Pidgeot, but that doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I, maybe even Alakazam is the best. But um, what do you guys think? I do think that Alakazam is going to be one of the better Pokemon in these games, Mega Evolution and not Mega Evolved. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my two cents on the situation. So who do you think will the best Pokemon will be in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? I'd love to see what you guys have to say about it. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like down below. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you're brand new. And uh, yeah, that's everything from me. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have an incredible rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace.